Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about alts and why you shouldn't be pushing your alts currently to 14, 15 and I'm not gonna say for you not to push for sure just because I know some uh, people have, you know, let's say even money, you know, if you're wailing a bit in the game, of course you can do that, you know, it doesn't matter for you, but this one is mostly for free to play guys and how expensive it is to push you know your alts to 14 15 especially if you don't have a lot of lipstone save up saved up and materials and if you have some saved up materials you can try to push for it but we're just gonna talk uh, quickly about you know the good and the bad points uh, how much it's gonna cost for you and why you should be waiting for vicos release for when we're gonna get a uh, stronghold research which is gonna give you additional 10% enchant buff because currently if you I can't even check this because I don't have because currently when you're enchanting to 14 15 you only gonna have 10% chance unless you're using with extra materials which is ridiculously expensive and if you're using additional honing books which at the moment go for I think on EU Central was, if I'm not mistaken, was like 800. Yeah, 800 and weapon is 1200 for one tap. So without Stronghold buff is going to be a super expensive for you. And of course, when you reach 1415 on your alt, you're going to get an access. Not this one. You're going to get access to Walton normal raid which is 1415 you're gonna get like 2000 uh, gold from it uh, when you're opening the chest of course you're gonna start getting relic accessories which is nice if you're gonna get lucky you're gonna get some good stuff obviously it's rng but i mean it's nice but the most important thing it's gonna be expensive for you guys to reach 1415 if you're a free to play player at the moment my main is at 1452 uh, I'm hoping to reach 1460 soon uh, to be ready for Vika's hard mode hopefully it's not gonna take a while I had some good successes to be honest uh, didn't really spend a lot of materials to get some extra honing levels you know but you never know so next I'm keeping my alts at 30 70 most of them i still need to finish these two you know um and i'm not really pushing you know beyond that because it's super expensive and i'm just gonna show you quickly like, graphs how much it's gonna cost for you i did push my second uh alt or like it's not main it's, it's my alt to 3085 because i had like 600 lipstone saved up so i said why not let's try to push it and i was super unlucky on it uh, I spent like 400 lipstones and like 13k gold uh, with like 14 or 12k guardian stones. Weapon did get a few lucky hits, so wasn't that bad on the weapon. But it is super expensive to push, even if um, you have a lot of material saved up. So you shouldn't be pushing for that unless you have a lot of resources and you really want to get another character to 14, 15. Uh, and you have bound lipstone saved up because the gains aren't that big of course relics are good maybe you're gonna get lucky uh, you can start as well collecting your vault and set slowly but just remember that that your alts never really gonna be at the same level as your main because you're gonna be always trying to invest in your main the materials uh, of course trying to get the best gems possible um, everything is gonna go on to your main Obviously, you should level up your alt slowly as well, just, you know, to try to be at least like one boss below um, than your main. But it's not recommended to do that right now because you need a lot of materials and we still don't have 1460 stronghold enchantment buff. When the buff is going to come from 3070 to 1415, it's going to be much, much easier. Those 10% is chance is gonna stack up so good because you're gonna have books 
uh, plus you can use the extra materials then if you want to go the chief way and it's gonna much 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 easier to reach and you just have to wait for weakers that's mostly likely when we're gonna get it so let's quickly go over to how much it would cost for you to push just you know to show you so this is what it takes for you to get an alt to 3070 this is average case scenario I did it myself. I actually noticed it was around similar prices. I did spend around 12, uh, maybe a bit less sometimes, like 8k gold. Uh, materials uh, are around this high. If you're pushing just straight, this is like number straight from tier two, tier, tier three beginning. So like a fresh alt from 3002. This is how much an average case is gonna cost you. So. Next, let's move and see how much it's gonna cost for you to push to 1415 your alt. And that is as well, it is not even from the beginning, it is from 3070. So you spend this much over here, and then you push your alt from 3070 to 1415. And this is how much you're gonna spend. This is taken from max roll. So the cheapest method is number three which as you can see here, you're not gonna even upgrade your weapon, but if you're a damage dealer, I don't really recommend this way. If your damage dealer is probably better to go first route, because you want to deal as much damage as, as you can, because a lot of parties are gonna check you and they not even wanna take you in, in their group. Unless you have a guild that it doesn't really matter, you can go number three. So as you can see, it's gonna cost you around 31k gold, silver 7.5 mil, uh fusion materials 1300 let's say 3000 300000 shards almost 2000 few uh, big lip stones uh 9000 redstones and 80000 blue crystals and that is a lot and don't forget this is like an average case scenario like it's not like you're gonna, gonna make like all your enchants all the way to the 100 artisan. This is, let's say, you get an enchant every 2-3 taps. This is the average case scenario. And now let's see one of the worst case scenarios what you could possibly get in, in the worst case. So the worst case scenario is this. So 100k, 1100k gold, uh, half a mil shards 4k fusions 71k uh, destruction stones and 216k uh, guardian stones plus the 6000 big leap stones this is like worst case scenario let's say most of your enchants gonna go up to 100 and this is a lot like when i tried to get my alt to 85 i already spent like 400 lip stones because i had a lot of failures because as you know when you go up you have like 15 percent chance 20 percent chance because we still don't have the stronger enchantment buff and that's why it's so hard to push and the gains aren't really that good uh, unless you're just using your bound materials which you have saved up on your alts then it's not that bad of course you're gonna spend a lot of gold because the just the taps are expensive to do and you're gonna be using a lot of money so i hope i guys helped you to you know solve your problems with the alts and why you should be waiting for the stronghold enchantment booth and you should probably just push your main to 1460 just to get that research done and then after that you can start slowly pushing your alts to 1415 to maximize them start doing wild turn raids start getting more relic accessories and so on but at the moment if you're free to play it's much much safer just to leave them at 30 70 farm argos get some lipstones stock up and whenever we get that enchantment we can start enchanting our alts and start doing molten normal raids i hope it helped see you guys on the next video peace